Okay, October 10th, 2011. Another Edible Acres. <laughs> That's Dove, of course. It's a crusty sidekick. Today I was going to show a quick video introduction to what is the start of what I'm calling the Cobb Cottage. Winter Cottage, whatever. I don't know. Maybe there's a better name for it. But I thought I'd share with everybody what's going on here and uh, what we've been up to. Um, a little hard to see from here, but roughly we just took a look at the interior of what will be an earth bermed home. It's about 10 feet deep on the north and south and about 16 feet wide east to west with a southern extension that will come out 8 feet here. This will be a greenhouse that will attach up. And then the roofing will be sheet metal roofing. You can see I've got a pile over there. That's 13 and a half foot long sheet metal roofing off in the distance. And that's going to go on with a roof. Well, probably be helpful to show this when there's more posts in the ground. But there'll be the southern posts will be cut to nine feet, the center ones at eight feet the north ones at seven feet. So it'll be a really gentle pitch. Eventually earth will go on top of there. And then there'll be a berm on the north wall of earth. So it'll be basically a big triangle coming out of the ground with gardens growing all over it. I'm pretty excited to see this evolve. I'm trying to get it done before it really starts to get cold. It's been this amazing Indian summer, almost 80 degrees today in early October and in shorts and t-shirt doing this work. I'm going to start building the cob as soon as I have a roof on it, and I need the weather to hold up in order to really do that. I'm going to start on the western wall. You can see I've got this urbanite, as it's called. These big chunks, there's a whole bunch more to dump, uh, just as, as fill, so I'm picking them out of the dump for free. And I'm going to lay them down, <laughs> if only they were that small and easy to move, lay them down along the bottom and then build cob earth walls that start about 18 inches wide and taper to about 10 to 12 inches wide as infill for these. And they'll have windows embedded in them. You can see there's a pile of dirt over here, which is a silty, clayey mix. Not ideal for cob, but it's not going to have to hold up a roof, so it basically just has to perform as, as a wall. Uh, so I'm going to use that mixed with manure and tons of straw, so I get a little bit of insulation out of it and start building. And I'll definitely document that as that happens. Um, yeah, and then got this drainage rock in the bottom. That's about an inch and a half thick. That's going to be through the whole area, even into the greenhouse. Everything pitched just slightly towards the greenhouse and then to a drainage ditch. You can see that's on the outside of the cabin and downhill, just in case there's a heavy flood event, there's somewhere for the water to go. But there's this drainage rock first. And then on top of that, it's really slow moving, but I've got this really fine sand from a greenhouse project I'm involved in. We're digging a pond there, so I'm taking this material, the subsoil, and we'll put that fine sand on top of this crushed or drainage stone, about an inch or two thick. That'll have PEX tubing embedded through it in a big spiral which will eventually hook up to a wood stove uh, water jacket. So that will always be heating the water and hopefully if I can figure out the physics of it, I guess, with thermosiphoning, the hot water will draw itself, uh, will create pressure and draw in cold water behind it. And so there will be a continuous loop of this hot water in the sand with these heavy, heavy stones sitting right on top of them. And so there will be radiant in-floor heating. And the southern wall will only be about three or four feet high, and then the rest of it will all be insulated windows across the entire length of here with a greenhouse on the outside and a trom wall which will be accumulating heat and pumping it through air ducts. So hopefully, nearly passively, I mean obviously there's wood heat, but there will be no electric moving all this stuff along. This should be a cabin that, although not incredibly insulative, should be able to really perform well thermally by banking and buffering all the heat that's generated by the sun and by the wood stove. Uh, there'll be a small stove in the center north wall with 
the exit uh, chimney tube going horizontal until it exits and that'll be all surrounded in cob. I'm going to make a bench out of that. That'll be the bed. So it'll be a heated bed that'll also be absorbing heat from the chimney before it leaves. Anyway, not much to really look at now, but just maybe a teaser for checking back and seeing what else is going on with this project. So um, feel free to subscribe and I'll be adding some more videos soon and hopefully figuring out some really neat ways of, of making a house for only a few hundred dollars. So far I think I'm at around maybe 200 bucks in parts, 300 bucks. And I think I can do this definitely for less than a thousand dollars. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.